Radio Castle KC. If you see it, say it. how I was banned from a chat room on Twitch for broadcasting business related inquiries. Uh, as some of you may remember, I interviewed WWE legend and former hardcore champion Terry Runnels back on the last series of the Case Secret Life. Um, well, I'm sad to announce me and Terry are no longer on speaking terms. Um, and this was, of course, down to the subject I just mentioned, offering business and talking business opportunities on a Twitch chat room page. Okay, I'll, I'll hold up my hands and say, you know, it was rude and very silly. Despite doing this twice, and both occasions were no doubt learning curves. I do recall a couple of weeks before I got Terry on for a chat, I was very upset because I didn't mean to cause so much, like, you know, annoyance and upset to her. And, and I know she'll probably be watching this, and I'll keep it as mutually as I possibly can. The first occasion I did this, I saw the shock on her face when she jumped. I was like, oh, shit. And then she showed me the Gmail account, held it up for future references and says, Dartsman, please, not on here. And then she tore into me and said, I didn't like that. I didn't appreciate what you just did. That was that was just rude. I don't know if I want to do the damn thing with you now. And then obviously I apologised in the end and she was like, it's OK. I love you. It's not a big deal. I remember lying in bed and just burst into tears like I did recently when I looked on a chat room wall to discover I was permanently banned because I did it again for the second time. But then, as it was so long since I messaged Terry, my mind completely went blank. And then one of our admins, who I will refer to as RW, then ripped into me going, Dartsman, you've been warned about offering business on here before, so please keep chat respectful. Of course, I apologised and he said, thank you. And then I said, I'm not saying you were wrong to call me out on that, but the way you started telling me off sounded intimidating. So I tried to find him to talk in private, but obviously I found him on Messenger and said, oh, hello, it's Dartsman and everything's cool. Out of nowhere, um, he blocks us on Messenger. So I used my second account, because I've got up to three accounts, and said, you know, I'm sorry for the way you feel you to block me on my other account. And I did apologise and begged him to unblock me. And then I got a response saying, you do realise you're turning into a stalker and you're no, no, no longer welcome on Terry's chat wall and she's completely washed her hands of you. So you can forget the Gmail account. And if you contact me again, I'll notify the authorities. So I just want to add... RW that I'm not sorry for calling you out on Twitch but I'm sorry for the way I did it because I was only telling you my side of the things and in fairness I did listen to your side I was like wow and firstly I would never dream of being a stalker and I'm like yourself and Terry very busy people with family friends and respectable jobs so here's some advice from me over here in England never talk money or business on a chat log you can of course ask the host like for instance can you give me an email address so like you can use for future references and just leave it at that until they re respond and as it is like terry pointed out rude and especially when it's just friendly chats and anything related only to the live streams i don't wish terry any harm and i still highly think of her and regard her as a down-to-earth woman and i've watched terry over the years in wwa managing gold dust occasionally wrestling and also interviewing people backstage i'm very saddened to hear that you've washed your hands of me uh, as RW said and I kept popping off and on the chat so I don't know if you gave me a telling off but if you did I accept that uh, people make mistakes in life and this is not the worst mistake in the entire world I called you out to say I'm sorry and I swear I didn't do this on purpose and I was in the wrong and I'm admitting I was in the wrong despite this being the second time and even though the second time will most certainly be the last because you know I always look back at my mistakes I know she has no interest in what I do from now on, and that's fine because that's her choice and her place of business. But for me, there's only so much that you can do to try to make situations better ones. 
Um, originally, I was going to invite her to guest host an episode of The Key, but after what had just happened, I immediately had second thoughts. And that was when I decided to find someone else who was on just previously. So, and that, will, and that way I can learn not to make the same mistakes with that guest host like I had done with Terry on Twitch.